friends, welcome to Kids Kitchen. It's Miss Christina. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make s'mores butters. Have you made s'mores before? And how do you do that? Usually you roast your marshmallow, right? And then you place it between some graham crackers and chocolate to make like a sandwich. Well, we're gonna make ours a little differently. Ours are gonna go in the oven. So it's a really fun, easy, delicious recipe, um, but it does take a few steps. So we're going to be baking things in stages, so it'll take a little while, but totally worth it. So let me show you what you need to make the s'mores bars, and then we'll get started. So you need your standard sorts of ingredients, graham crackers. You can use the honey or cinnamon, or if you have a gluten allergy, gluten-free graham crackers work perfectly. You'll need mini marshmallows, and you want 16 ounces or six cups of mini marshmallows. So just pay attention to the size on the package. Um, these come in 10 ounces, so I basically need like a bag and a half. You want 12 ounces of milk chocolate chips. So instead of the pieces of chocolate that you would use to make s'mores, we're gonna do chocolate chips. You'll need a quarter teaspoon of salt and one cup of unsalted butter. So if you have sticks like this, it'll be two sticks to make one cup. And then you'll need some different tools and things. You'll want a bowl for mixing, a um, nine by 13 pan or dish that can go in the oven. You'll need your little measuring spoon here, um, a spoon, a big plastic bag. This is so we can crush our graham crackers without making too much of a mess. And then like a rolling pin or something that will, or um, even a cup that will help you crush them because we're gonna turn our graham crackers into little crumbs. Okay, I think that's everything that you need. Um, so because it's going in the oven and the oven needs to preheat, it's good to start that before you um, begin assembling everything else. So the oven is going to be set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So go ahead and do that so it has time to preheat while you're preparing everything else. So now we're gonna make our graham cracker crumbs. This is really fun. So you'll need about two packs. So when you open your box of graham crackers, they usually come like this. So about two of these. Okay. You're just going to open them up and put them into your plastic bag. Have to be gentle because we're just going to crush them anyway. You don't want to come out. <laughs> okay. One more. So now you want to get most of the air out of it and zip it up. Make sure it's really zip tight, otherwise you'll get graham crackers everywhere. So I'm going to turn my camera down a little bit so you can see. We're just going to smash them. This is the fun part. All right, looking pretty good. Doesn't have to be perfect. You don't need to obliterate them. So I do have some chunks in there still, but it's mostly like graham cracker dust. If you see any huge pieces, you can break them apart with your fingers just to make them a little smaller. Now we need to melt our butter. 
because it'll be really hard to mix the butter when it's salad like that. You can put it into your bowl. Make sure it's microwave safe. Okay. And then you want to put it in the microwave for maybe like 30 seconds and then give it a stir. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll make sure our graham crackers are ready to go. So I'm just gonna come back and break up any large pieces that are remaining. Yep, give it a couple more wax. That's looking better and the microwave just dinged. So let's check on the butter. Get in there. So you can take your spoon and just mix it up. And let's do another 10 seconds or so. So this is sort of like when you make a graham cracker crust if you're making a pie, um, but our pie is going to be a s'mores pie, essentially. So let's see if it's ready. All right. Stir it up, kind of get rid of the solid pieces that haven't melted all the way. You don't want a huge chunk of butter in there. Okay, so I have my melted butter and I'm gonna dump all of my graham crackers in there. Um, I lied. We're gonna, we're gonna take a little bit out because we're gonna use that um, to sprinkle on the top. So about a quarter of a cup, you're gonna scoop out of your bag and then the rest is going to go in. A quarter of a cup and I'll just set that aside for the end. So then the rest goes in. Okay. Along with our salt. So we need a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, which is this teeny tiny little one. Oops. Okay. Perfect. And now you just mix it up. get everything nice and combined. up any remaining big pieces that I see. Okay, so it'll look like that and it smells really good. So you're going to put this into the bottom of your pan. And smooth it out into a nice even layer. Let's 
I'm going to make sure there aren't really any gaps. So the whole bottom is covered um, because when you go to cut it, it'll make for a nice base. It'd be like having pie without the crust. Okay. Right. Looking pretty even to me. See how the whole bottom is covered? So now this is going to, let's see, this is going to go in the oven and we're going to bake it for 10 minutes. So I'm going to do that and I will come back and show you the next part. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. So I'm getting ready to take my graham cracker crust out of the oven. Make sure that you have a grown up help you. Um, and that you're very, very careful um, because you don't want to burn yourself on the oven. So I'm going to take that out and I will show you the next step. Doesn't look too different, but it's nice and toasty and it's starting to all stick together from the heat. So now we're going to put four cups of the mini marshmallows on top of the crust. So I've got a cup here. And you're just gonna sprinkle them. Four cups is actually quite a lot. Two. I'm flinging marshmallows everywhere. Four cups. And just kind of spread it around. I think I lost a few there. Make sure that it's covered. Okay. So now we're going to put it in the oven and bake it for another 10 minutes. But keep an eye on it. Um, maybe check in after five minutes or so and just make sure everything is looking good. So I will be back when that's done. All right, friends, it's been 10 minutes, so let's take it out of the oven again. Oh. Okay. So it looks like that. The marshmallows have risen. So what we're going to do is let it sit for five minutes so that the marshmallows can cool down and they're going to deflate a little bit. So it's going to give us more room on the top to add our remaining ingredients. So I'm going to let it do that and I will come back and check in on you. Okay, it's been about five minutes. So as you can see, the marshmallows have gone down a little bit as they've cooled. So now we're going to add the whole bag of chocolate chips in an even layer across the top of the marshmallows. And it should be cooled down enough that if you need to spread it a little bit with your fingers, you can. Or you can use a spoon. They just kind of collect in certain areas. So you want it to be kind of even. Okay. And of course, as they melt, the chocolate will spread out. Okay. Then we're going to take that a um, quarter cup of graham cracker crumbs that we had left over, and we're going to sprinkle that on the top. Okay, and then if you want to put a little bit extra marshmallows to give it a nice appearance, you can do that. A little bit more. Okay. I think that looks nice. So 
that's what mine's looking like so far. Okay. Um, so now this is going to go in for 10 more minutes and then that's it. So when it comes out of the oven, it's going to be ready to go. So I will do that and check back in. Okay, friends. So it's been 10 minutes, maybe, maybe 12. Um, so I took it out of the oven and this is what it looks like. So you can see the chocolate is um, a little melty and you've got a nice kind of brown marshmallow um, on the top. If you like your marshmallows a little more burnt, you can leave them in there longer, but I like it like this, just kind of a nice tan shade. Um, so they're still really squishy. So you just wanna let this cool before you cut it. Um, it's really hot, so it'll probably wait like 10, 15 minutes or so, and then um, you can eat it and enjoy. I hope you have fun making this. Uh, it's a nice way to make s'mores if you don't have a fire pit or something outside. So um, we'll see you next time for Kids Kitchen. Bye.